Australia is entering a new defence and security partnership with the US and the UK aimed at countering the growing threat posed by China. As part of the plan, Australia will embrace nuclear-powered submarines using American and British technology. But it means tearing up a $90 billion contract with the French. Prime Minister Scott Morrison is warning Australians we've entered a new era in the Indo-Pacific. Defence correspondent Andrew Green begins our coverage. Well, good morning from Australia. By dawn's early light, a coordinated, dramatic, strategic strike. A new enhanced trilateral security partnership between Australia, the United Kingdom and the United States. Leaders across three continents... I want to thank uh, that fellow down under. Thank you very much, pal. Appreciate it, Mr Prime Minister. Unveiling the biggest shift in this country's defence posture in decades. Australia is one of our oldest friends, a kindred nation, and a fellow democracy and a natural partner. And one that's been invited to join an exclusive nuclear club. The first major initiative of AUKUS will be to deliver a nuclear-powered submarine fleet for Australia. A top-secret submarine plan 18 months in the making, driven by fears of a rapidly growing military power in this region. The relatively benign security environment that Australia has enjoyed over many decades in our region is behind us. Torpedoing a $90 billion French deal for conventionally powered subs won't come cheap. Australia's already spent billions, but switching to nuclear will be far more expensive and complex. It's an enormous amount of work we'll be doing in the, uh, in the coming 18 months, Prime Minister. Paris was only informed last night, but told its former customer the shock decision shows a lack of coherence that France can only note and regret. Labor too was briefed yesterday and is giving qualified support. That there be no requirement of a domestic civil nuclear industry. There be no acquisition of nuclear weapons. This agreement would be compatible with the non-proliferation treaty. This is a dangerous move that will make Australia less safe by putting floating Chernobyls in the heart of our major cities. This is about propulsion. This is not about acquiring nuclear weapons. Britain and America will help Australia design its new nuclear submarines with at least eight to be built in Adelaide. The first of the future fleet is expected to hit the water in the next decade. Before they arrive, more US submarines are likely to be stationed here. Unlocking its nuclear technology secrets is not something the US military machine does lightly. In fact, it's only happened once before. So there can be no turning back once that vault is flung open. Now, more than ever, Australia is tied to this security alliance with all the advantages that brings and the baggage too. In a neighbourhood bristling with tensions and rivalries. Andrew Green, ABC News, Canberra.